Here it goes. Look at this. Here it goes. Wow. This is... The rocket is off the ground. In 2016 goes 16, the first of NOAA's next generation of geostationary weather satellites soared into space. And the liftoff of the Atlas V and NOAA's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather watching eye in the sky to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. And two years later, Go 17 followed suit, with both replacing the previous series of operational satellites watching over the Western Hemisphere from 22,300 miles above. Now we've got two operational, you know, it's turning into the legacy. Um, and really, once we get the spare up there, um, we'll be, you know, full into the operational swing of the GOES-R series. Engineers have been working on GOES-T for years. And just to give you an idea how much this satellite weighs, without fuel, it's around 6,000 pounds. But once we add fuel, you're getting this thing up to around 14,000 pounds. Very impressive. Meet GOES-T, the third satellite in a series of four fully assembled and undergoing meticulous testing at Lockheed Martin in Littleton, Colorado, slated for launch in December of 2021. So we put it in a big chamber, we suck the air out um, to create a vacuum like it will see in space. Um, and in that chamber, we, um, we can simulate the temperatures that you'll see on orbit. So um, we take it very hot and very cold um, because it will get very hot and very cold on orbit. And so we want to make sure that uh, when, uh, when it happens out orbit, um, that everything still works. Uh, and about spring, we're going through our vibe and acoustics, and then we have EMI testing, so that's electromagnetic interference testing. And going all the way through launch, I mean, this is such a long process, and it's really rewarding when we get to that endpoint. But even before the satellite got to where it is today, there were tweaks that needed to be made to the initial design. On GOES T, we've taken a lot of the lessons learned from the previous two vehicles and had a very concerted effort to make sure they were incorporated on this vehicle so things could be a lot smoother. I would say the biggest change is our updated ABI instrument that's um, been modified from the lessons learned on GOES 17. The ABI, known as the Advanced Baseline Imager, is one of the most important tools we rely on as meteorologists, providing us this incredible imagery at a faster speed to aid with forecasts and showcase weather events as they are happening. GOES is really about protecting life and property, so everything we do is about how do we make it easier for forecasters to be able to help the decision makers uh, make the decisions faster and better, right? also including special instruments to help us better understand space weather and how it impacts us here on Earth. It's critically important. So it's important for us here on Earth because it actually directly impacts it, but it's also, as you mentioned, going to be important um, as we look at um, what it means to spacewalks um, and what it means to the Artemis program going forward. A fleet of satellites that will continue to provide a better scope of the weather, both on Earth and throughout outer space so critical to the world that we need to assure that data will be continuous. And so after these satellites fulfill their mission and are done with their operational mission life, we need to have the next generation uh, ready and available. We will continue to follow the journey of GOES-T every step of the way. And to learn more about the entire satellite series, head over to weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Meredith Garfalo.